Huh? What a surprise. Oh, rude. He wasn't Merrick. Merrick, are you here? Hey, you there. Oh, God. Yes, you. Do you want to know a secret? I hate his voice. What do you mean? Well, I found something. Something real. How I'm gonna skip it? through it. I hate his voice. I show you awesome. Yeah, yeah, show I it to me. Hey, you there. Yeah, we already have the quest. Yes, you. Do you want to know a secret? I hate his voice. I forgot how much I hated his voice. I forgot how much it makes me want to stab myself with a razor. But now that I'm reminded of it, wear something to stab myself with because God, he is annoying. I'll join you in a second, kid. Let me check around here. There's a grave here. And I am a grave digger, apparently. I've dug up every grave I've spotted so far, so. Not gonna end now. Oh! Now there we go. Teleport to Riverville scroll. So anytime we want, we can now go back to this town. But only once, because we only got one scroll. We can get more, though. I want to check out this rock. It looks suspicious. Just a rock. Let me check something real quick. Let me just change the uh, stream screen real quick. Okay. Let me change it to... Uh, let me change it to the starting screen for a sec. Okay, never mind. Back to the game. Take a few seconds. There we go. I wanted to see if it would, like, increase my FPS. It did, but not much. Take this from the can. Wrong place, wrong time. Pathless can. I am now stuck. right get out of here yeah nice arrows but they don't stop me they do ever cause me to bleed profusely and slowly bleed to death I should survive it though Oh, well, there's candlelight again. I already have those boots. Uh, chest. Okay, the game has been running for two hours. We should do a restart. I'm gonna do a quick restart. It only takes me... Come on, there we go. It only takes me ten seconds. Uh... Here we go, game's booting up. Every two hours or so, I need to do a quick restart. Load my save. It helps my FPS. If I wasn't streaming, I could do it every like three hours. But due to the streaming, uh, I memory leak a little bit faster. Well, the memory starts affecting me earlier because this Twitch stream is using a lot of CPU and a lot of GPU and yeah. Basically, there we are. Now we're back. Better frame rate. Not great. Still some, still some drops here and there, but better than before. <sighs> All right, we uh, dealt with this camp. I'm now healing. Rather slowly, but I am healing. Let's go help that kid with whatever the fuck he found. Found a secret he wanted to share with me, so... And what's the harm?
Hey there, kid. Watch out for that crab. I don't. Look, I found this yesterday when I was searching for shells. Awesome, isn't it? Well, it's a casket. Yes, and you know what? If you shake it, you can hear a rattling as if there are coins in it. All we need to do is break it open. Then we can split the loot. And I could give Daddy the money for the pointy beard man. So what do you think? I've already tried to open it, but it just won't budge. Okay, well, let me have a try. Sure. I'll just slap it. Yes! Awesome! Let's see what's in there. There are... Hmm. Oh, come on. What is that? What is it? There aren't any pennies, only these weird nails and a piece of paper. Here, take a look for yourself. Old note. Let's have a read. Day and night it stands there, sublime, proud, full of power, giving blessings in time of need and on our path until we die. So, does it say anything? I'm... It looks like some kind of poem. Not sure. A poem? Hmm, what if it's a riddle? That's what you grown-ups call it, don't you? What does it say exactly? Read out the first verse. A blessing in distress? That... Hmm. Oh, sugar. Why do you grown-ups always have to talk so complicated? That is... Hmm. Wait. Father Vildas the priest, he always talks about blessings at the sermons. Maybe, maybe the writer is talking about the shrine, the one behind our house. Quickly, you should go take a look over there. I have to go back to the farm to feed the leers, but tell me at once if you find anything. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's go check out the shrine, which just happens to be right here. And let's have a little inspection here. We've got... Yep, shrine. We have a spell book that I already have, some money I can steal, and a plaque. At the beginning of the current, a big stone with a raised bleak tree in the west. Well, beginning of the current, that would be the river. The river goes that away with a bleak tree. That would be that one. I've done this quest before. <laughs> I can't undo my knowledge of this quest. You're supposed to go up there. Let's go up there. I wish I could undo knowledge of games and enjoy them for the first time again. That'd be really fun. I would have so much fun with Dark Souls. I could play Dark Souls forever if I did that. That'd be amazing. Infinite first playthroughs. Come on. There we go. You go up here, and there's the tree. And then while you're at the tree, you see a path, and you're like, oh man, a path. Let's check that out. Now go on down the path, through the bushes. See a little ruin with a grave. And there is a rusty iron claymore here. And a handicraft book. Now, this is probably going to be trash. Yeah, and it slows people, which is nice. But the damage is awful. But I wonder if I could carry that back to town and, like, disenchant it. I don't even know if they have an enchanting thing in town. If they do, I should do that, but... Again, I'm not sure they do. There we go, I gotta heal a bit. Anything uh, heavy I could throw away? Coal, gold ore, I don't care. I need my shovel. I use my shovel all the time. Get rid of the torch now. I got that as a spell. 
I have an extra pair of these boots, but they weigh like nothing. Don't want to throw them away. I'll throw away the pickaxe, I guess. And a hundred bucks and a note. If you read this, then it means that you find my legacy. Whoever you are, take it and use it for something meaningful. I repeat myself, meaningful. Under no circumstances, I will give my daughters and their idiotic activities even a single penny of my hard-earned money. E. Leclerc. Well, I have your sword now, and I also gave you my uh, goat meat. I hope you cherish that goat meat forever. That is the true treasure all along. The goat meat. May it bless you forever. There is an ice claw. Ah! I love one-shotting people. Cure disease? That'll be useful. Cabbage soup? Delicious. I think I already have the steel helmet uh, recipe, but I'll take it. Let's have a look here. Okay. Locked it. Oh, well, I just got a disease. Oh, another one. All right, is this disease awful? I don't see the disease. disease but I didn't see any weird bugs it happens nice claw Alright, let's go back to the kid. Like a hundred bucks we got, so we'll split like half, maybe. And, uh, hopefully he'll be happy with that. Because, no, he found the thing, but I did all the hard work. So, you know, 50-50, that's fine. Hello. You're right, there's a treasure at the end of all these clues and a lot of coin. What? Really? That's awesome! How much was it? I get one half, you get the other! That sounds good. Uh, yeah, get a size half. Yeah, it works. There's a lot here. You should do, this should be about half of it. Oh, wow! This is so much! Man, I... You are awesome, do you know that? Thanks a bunch! You're a good person, and Mommy always says there are too few! Yay, we did it! And I leveled. I'm gonna get another point of stamina. There we go. And then from now on, I'm gonna do a couple of magical levels. We're gonna do a little bit of hybrid sort of setup. Now, this city's gonna be a bit laggy. You'll notice it on the stream. Not much I can do about that. It's a lot of NPCs, and uh, whenever there's NPCs around, uh, Skyrim likes to chug. Because Skyrim doesn't like NPCs. Which is kind of weird, seeing as it's an RPG that needs to have NPCs in it. Morrowind and, uh... Watch yourself. The streets are unsafe, unsafe this, this time, time of, of the day. day. Oh, yeah, Morrowind and Oblivion do the same thing. Just really laggy. 
when there's too many NPCs. It's, uh, it's dumb. It's the way the engine works, and I, I, they should do a new engine. I understand why they don't. It's really expensive to do en new engines. And it's not a completely terrible engine. They, they could definitely use it still, but they'd need to change stuff. But, yeah. Hello. Um, uh, who are you? I'm just a traveler. You're Alfred, right? The childhood friend of a man named Yero? Uh, Yero, I... Uh, this is about his death, isn't it? Uh, uh, the rampage. You heard of it? Of course, who hasn't? Yero was one of us, after all. It is... Terrible. Simply terrible. Uh, you want to hear an old man's opinion, though? I... I always expected that something like this would happen. Malthus, forgive me for talking about a keeper like that, but... It's the truth. You mean you saw it coming? Hard to explain, really. Come on, uh, let's find somewhere to sit. Uh, it'll be easier to talk that way. Alright. Let's have a sit. Well, Yarrow. Yarrow. That's quite a subject, you know. You were right when you said we were best friends. Our fathers knew each other. For as long as I can remember, Yarrow and I were getting into trouble together. At least, until his mother died. Not of old age, I assume. No. Bandits killed her in broad daylight on, on Penny Road. Today these incidents are common, but not back then. The road was considered safe. Very safe. She was on her way to Ark, accompanied by three other women, and they were set upon at the pass. None of them survived. Yarrow was shattered. I think the worst part was how his father went downhill after his wife's death. The fishery decayed, and the poor guy filled his days with boozing and sleeping. It changed Yarrow forever. How exactly? Well, that's a good question. On the one hand, he became a man, despite his tender age. On the other hand, something inside him woke up, so to speak. A desire to make more of his life. Old Mother Jenica noticed it and took him under her wing. He learned how to read and write, and soon he knew all the holy verses by heart. When he didn't have to help his drunken father, he helped in the village as much as he could. He transformed his grief into a productivity. Sounds like a rather positive development. Indeed, that's one way to look at it. It wasn't long before he was the, the jewel of the village. The striving young fisherman destined for great things, even though he was only on the path of a manufacturer. And then the inevitable happened. A keeper of the order came to Riverville to see the prodigy with his own eyes. And behold, in addition to Yarrow's ingenuity, he also had a slumbering magical talent. The keeper took him away, and a few months later, he started his novitiate. Since then, I've only seen him once or twice, as he rarely visited Riverville. I, I don't think he ever noticed how much that hurt me. Is it that uncommon for someone on the manufacturer's path to be a chance to become a keeper? <laughs> if one of the manufacturers makes it to Sergeant of the Guard, it's reason enough for a bard song. He must have been the first novice in centuries who was not of the sublime path. So yes, sir, it is uncommon. More than that. Okay, so he was a, he was an anomaly essentially. So what did you mean by I always suspected something like this would happen? Oh, it's hard to explain. I believe it was the way he was talking about his grand plan. Oh yeah, that's always weird. How he wanted to make the world a better place to become the greatest keeper since Lorem Waterblade. Underneath all this, there was a... there was an anger. An anger mixed with deep grief and disappointment. 
Uh, I don't think he was aware of it, because he drew all his strength from that anger. The strength to do all this, to, to learn and to work day and night, but it frightened me, like the Blue Death. It slumbers inside the pathless mage who believes he can master magic without the Order's help. At first, it grants power, but then, one day, it bursts out in an unholy wave of destruction, turning him into one of the monsters in the old songs. <sighs> um, anyway, I'm just an old man. What do I know about these matters? Now let me go to sleep, my dame. All these memories are making me weary. All right, thanks for your help. Yes, of course. All right, well, that was uh, useful. We got to learn a little bit about him. He always wanted to try to make the world a better place, and he probably ended up... Uh... Well, I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Door is barred. You ever heard of this house? Yeah. I've heard of this house. Here we go. My light. Uh, I not favorite it? Candle light. Can I unbar the door? Nope. All right. Can make him fire claws. Have a read of that. Darling oil, orange dragonfly, fire salts. A little bit harder to make that one, but quite powerful. Asthma list workbench. There it is. So the next time I get a point, I have a point. Shit. I have a point. Let's spend it. Get that Phasma list point now. Bullsmith. Create a talisman for my soul at a Phasma list workbench. Oh god, uh, create talisman. I need an iron dagger, a bone meal, and two ectoplasma and a skull. Okay. Daggers are easy, bone meal should be easy. Oh, ectoplasm might be a bit harder. Skull, I have no clue. Okay. That's cool. Entropy book. Oh, that was spoiled bread. Why did I take that? That's gross. Alright, we'll keep a lookout for a skull and an ectoplasm. Okay, now we're in Riverville, we have to go back now, but while we're here, we might as well check out some stores and other stuff. What's the time here? Uh, 6 p.m. Okay, so they're going to be closing up soon. Greetings. Madame? I'm looking for work. Work, huh? If you know a thing or two about herbs and the healing arts, you should talk to the mayor. His companion has been sick for moons now. Talk to the mayor. Poor Mathilda. I've never met a woman more generous than her. She doesn't deserve that. Okay. Talk to the mayor. Ten pennies for a sack of Greg. Damn these farmers. I thought he removed that chest. Hold on. 
Uh, Enderal gameplay overhaul. I thought he, uh... But I rode them. Let me have a read of the change log then. Log, change log. Let's see, uh, chest. Uh. Okay, so I can just, uh, put stuff in these chests then. But in the original game, these chests were magical, and anything you put in them would appear in the other ones. So in this version, they're not magical, so anything I put in here will only appear in this one. But that's still fine. There's a bunch of stuff I want to keep, but I don't want to carry. For some reason, I'm not wearing that. Uh, so if I wait... Yeah, I'm gonna use these. Potions here. Yeah, throw in some random stuff here. Throw in all this. There's no reason for me to carry all this. All the recipes I can carry, that's fine. They don't they don't weigh anything. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna take some stuff out of it though. I am gonna take the uh these. Work, work, work. Potatoes, garlic, mm. radish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're really short. Hello? Hello? Have you heard the news about the Magister? Word has it that he murdered 30 novices, then killed himself yes. up in the town. Uh, do you happen to have any tips? Oh, well, I might, this world. but I'm sure as heck not going to tell you, Moonskin. Now leave me alone. I don't have time for chit-chat. Wow, rude. Of course. Especially to people of your kind. Now excuse wow, rude. me, I have to go. Uh-huh. Now, I just put them out for you to look at. Tell me what you need, and be quick oh, another dagger to spare. I could get that and have two. <laughs> I could dual wield them. Hunting longbow. Nice. Silver arrows. Armor of vigor. There we go. Rhetoric. I will buy five. I need to learn rhetoric. Alright, can you buy some of my stuff? I can sell you this set stuff. Nice. Coins. Uh, here's some garnets. All right. Walk blessed. I like the uh, the way the arrows are on him. 
Are they that way for me? No, they're on the back for me. That sucks. Dark again. Oh, hold on. Huh. Uh, crafting points. I have 16. Jesus. You know what? I wonder who's playing in the yeah. tonight. Nah, I just put I'm just gonna buy all your rhetoric books. Tell me what you need and be quick about it. Walk there we go. Hello. Oh. Always be evil. Oh. You okay? Oh. Oh. I sense vibrations. Horrible, bad vibrations. Oh, yes, I feel them very strongly. Bad vibrations? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Something peculiar surrounds you. <gasps> Your aura. Oh. Oh, by Malthus, no. What about it? It is indigo blue, the color of the dying. It must be a magical anomaly, but still, that doesn't bode well. But, you're lucky. The stars are on your side. I, just like you, find myself in deep trouble. <laughs> and uh, maybe we can help each other. How can I help you? I have a special... Object in stock. A skull. <laughs> no, According to the legends, it comes she from the midst of the Kiran Desert, and us Arcanists like refer to it as the Master it, Skull. It, it is a risky no, experiment, thing thing. but at midnight, woman, if you balance the skull on your head for one full wars, hour, one it might help to reharmonize your aura. Maybe. He was dressed up as a priest. Why not? What do you need help with? It's simple. A couple of days ago, something precious was stolen from me. My beauty potion. And until yesterday, I was in the dark as to who took it. A vision has shed light onto the matter. It was an aura thief. Of course. An aura thief? Yes. Old exactly. beings from past Sometimes times, way Sometimes. before the Pyrians. For common eyes, do? they are invisible, <laughs> but we, spiritually gifted, can anyway, see them. I have to get going. Good Aura to see you. thieves you only have one something. reason for existence, I will. and okay. that is to disrupt harmony so by playing so horrible pranks on innocent people, such as the theft of my potion. <sighs> I see. No, you don't. But how could you? Well, uh, I'll see if I can find your potion. I have a suspicion. Yesterday, when I danced at the river, I heard a voice out of nowhere whispering right into my ear. And it only said six words. Find me in the Clearwater <laughs> Cave. I'm sure it was the potion who spoke to me. But I'm too old to go exploring old caves like this one on my own. Which is sad, since said cave is only a few minutes' march from the village. <laughs> it's an abandoned mm, mine just up the hill that leads to the pass. Go there and find my potion, and I will reward you most generously. May your path what always plan? be evil. Uh, yes, right, what do you yes got? of course. I uh, just got some staffs. Okay. Got ambrosia, very expensive. I'll buy one. Uh, books on alchemy. Light magical elementarism. Some ambrosia recipes, wolf blood recipe. Essence gift. Transfer points of mana to your apparition. Hmm. Frost rune. Well, 
Explodes in shock damage. Rank 3 Mage Light. Up to level 7, enemies flee. I'll buy that. Got an emerald. Fuck, I need those. I'm not paying 500 bucks for it. I need an emerald for that. All right. May his light guide you. Mm-hmm. You're not dead. Holy magic. How are you doing? My yes? Any news? News? Where have you been these past moons? The whole city's talking about nothing else but the Mad Magister. 30 dead novices. Oh, oh boy. Fuck. How could something like this happen Tito's within the order? Ah, I'm sure it was fine. Anyways, here's a notice board. Uh, embrace your inner child with Terhuti. Ter Every night, channel the voices of the <sighs> new age by Lo by Looney dancing the Honey River. Search for a bounty. The pathless one, Redrick Born Stone, is one for multiple frauds and aggravated robbery. He's sturdy and has blue eyes and blonde beard. He's said to be extremely dangerous to proceed with caution. There are 188 and drawing pennies to be used for his death. Stuff so sure. Expensive. Sounds good. Uh, is everyone like closing up now or? Oh, the general store is still open. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, hello. I haven't seen you around here before. Uh, just take a look around and tell me if you see anything you like. Where do you get where from? Uh, that depends. Uh, some I get from adventures. Should I say gathered? Uh, nowadays okay. you can't even. Oh, a bit of this and that. Uh, feel free Epicura. To take That's fucking cool. There's a little like artifact you can buy. That's awesome. No book that I'd want. More myths and legends books. Lead master. Alright, well, nothing too interesting. Alright, it's getting very dark in the city now. My dad? Oh, you're not from around here, are you? I know that accent. Let's go uh, down to the inn then and have a rest. Because it's getting really dark and we can't really talk to many people at night here. So, the inn is where we shall go. There's even a unique gambling thing you can do here. I'm horrible at it, so I'm not gonna do it. But we can gamble here. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's smoking. There it is, you can gamble there. Interesting in terms of skull drudgery and adventuring, you mean? Uh, and then there's a Pyrean ruin on the lake down south. Sharoth or whatever they call it. There are lots of undead around, though. At least, according to the hunter, Matumiel. And, of course, there's Castle Goldfirth on the outmost cliff in the southwest. But I'd give that a wide berth if I were you. Okay. What's the story about the castle? Ah, well, I only know the rumors, and they are as old as my grandfather. Apparently, the castle belonged to a count who ruled over the Sun Coast some centuries ago and fell victim to some sort of tragedy. Bottom line, the castle is dangerous and brimming with ghosts. And as much as I'd like to dismiss that as nonsense, lots of travelers come here telling us about these strange noises they heard near the castle at night. As I said, I'd give it a wide berth. I'll think about it. Which means I can't wait to go there, doesn't it? <sighs> Pray to Melfast for protection then. 
You'll need it. Malfas's blessings. 